following announcement has been paid for by the Jackass Nation. What's up, Nation? It's your boy, the Jersey Jackass, ETCW World Heavyweight Champion. Yo, the world, Craig. Shit, not just the city, the world. Hit me up on all social media at Real Jackass BC, Aria L J A C K A S S B C. We're back again for another review. This time, we're checking out Disney's Aladdin. So, is this magic or are you magic? You can get ready. Aladdin, isn't it? For the ride of your life. Let's go. He has a magic carpet and an elephant. Whoa. Disney's Aladdin. Rated PG. A whole new world. All right, I know. Y'all don't like when I sing. Sorry. All right, so Aladdin is the newest adaptation of Disney original animated films, and this one had some really big shoes to fill. Not only is it, you know, one of my all-time favorite Disney movies, second right behind The Lion King. Yeah, number two, it's up there. Recasting a role as iconic as Robin Williams' genie is next to impossible. How on earth would they be able to do this? Would they be able to do this? Everything hinges on that alone. You could get everything else wrong or right. You can get everything else right, but if you got the genie wrong, you're doomed on arrival. So who did they bring in? None other than Will Smith himself. Now a lot of people were really upset with that. Some people were on the side with it. Some people worried about it. Me, personally, I loved it. I am a fan of Will Smith. I like all of his work and I was excited to see what he would do. And I think it is now safe for me to tell you guys, he is not just redoing Robin Williams. He's not trying to do a Robin Williams impersonation. He's doing the Will Smith genie. What is the Will Smith genie? Well, you'll have to see it yourself to find out. But one thing I can tell you about it is I liked it. Not only did I like his genie, I liked this movie altogether. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's start here with this. Aladdin is the story of a street rat, a street urchin, a man living on the streets of Agrabah, just trying to make it day to day with his monkey. He runs into a princess who is in disguise on the street. He kind of falls for her. She kind of falls for him. Gets a lamp. Is granted three wishes. If you don't know the tale of Aladdin, well, I don't know why you're watching this. It's pretty self-explanatory. Seriously, it's one of the best Disney movies ever made. This incarnation stars Will Smith, Menam Masad, Marwan Kanzari, Navad Nagabban, and of course, Naomi Scott as Princess Jasmine. Ah, Naomi. Wake up! Review! That's right, sorry. All in all, the cast works really well. I enjoyed everybody in their roles. Even Jafar, who I was a little bit worried about going in because he did not have that menacing look that he did in the original film. So I was like, I don't know if this is going to work. Did we kind of young him down and make him pretty him up so that it's not as creepy that he's trying to marry Jasmine? It definitely works a little bit better this way, on that aspect at least. And again, he was taking me out of the film a little bit when, I, when he first came on. But eventually you get over it, you work with it, I liked it, and I kind of ended up enjoying his rendition of Jafar. Nagan as well as the Sultan. Uh, not as bumbling as our Sultan from the original, which is a little... Disjointed. I was really looking forward to seeing that. I really loved that character and I was hoping to see some of that in there in this. But what they did with it really works for the film and I, I think it flows a little bit better going forward with this one. Now, it's not a perfect film by any means. I was actually a little worried going into after the first 15 minutes because the first 15 minutes are kind of jarring. You really just kind of jump into it. One jump ahead of the bread line. One swing ahead of the sword. I steal only what I can afford. It's everything. All right, I'll stop singing. Damn. So when you jump into it, it's, it's a little jarring, and there's some choppy editing, and that kind of continues throughout the whole film. Uh, I noticed it a little bit. It would take me out here and there. And you get very little of that Guy Ritchie flair that he likes to throw into all of his films. This is kind of the most un-Guy un ritchie film that I've ever seen of Guy Ritchie's. There is definitely a moment that I'm like, ah! There's the Guy Ritchie feel. All right, we got it. That's in there. Also, the dialogue is kind of cheesy. I don't know if that's because some of it was ripped right from the animated film. And when you put animated dialogue into an actual film, it kind of doesn't work well. It's weird. But then you're taking the aspect that this film is a PG film. And it's kind of for kids. So it kind of works. It makes sense. You're like, okay, you know, it's, you got you to gotta let that stuff kind of settle in and get over the fact that it's not going to be a super well-written film. Also, some of the CGI is definitely not the best. 
There's a lot of like green screen moments and you can really tell it's green screen. And there's some stuff with uh, Raja and Abu that you could really tell is CG'd like really bad. I think they spent their CG budget on Will Smith. As the genie, not as in like paying Will Smith. That's where the CGI budget went. Went to the genie. It looked good. Also, Iago, it's not Gilbert Godfrey. And uh, I mean, it, it's a parrot and it, it does parrot things. So that works, but it's not Gilbert Godfrey. And that, I missed him. I really missed him. The most part, the best thing about it is that it is just fun. It's energetic. You get sucked into this world. The music takes you back. They do a great job paying homage to the music while also doing new stuff and making it their own. Speaking of making it their own, I've buried the lead enough. It's time to talk about the genie. Will Smith's genie is absolutely incredible. He's definitely not doing a Robin Williams impersonation. He's not trying to outdo what Robin Williams did. He's literally being a Will Smith genie. If you can imagine what Will Smith would be like as a genie, that's what this is. And it works. He's fun. It's that Will Smith charm that really sucks you. Will Smith never does a bad job. Okay, all right, okay. After Earth was garbage, but come on. Everyone has one bad day at the office. All in all, I really enjoyed Will Smith's Genie. I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, everyone who's worried about him rapping the songs, it actually plays out and works really well. He's not actually rapping. He's kind of singing, and it's really nice. I'm just saying. Plus, Naomi Scott! Ah, Naomi. <laughs> Score! Let's go! Okay, okay, okay. Score time. All right, Aladdin, what am I doing? How am I going? I'm giving Aladdin... A three point four out of five. But that's not all, yo. We're also throwing in a Jeebus bonus of point four for Naomi Scott, Will Smith, Naomi Scott, and the music. Ah, Naomi Scott. That gives us a Jeebus score of 3.8 out of 5. Well, what about you guys? Are you guys excited to see Aladdin this weekend? Are you looking forward to it? Are you mad? Do you feel like it's ruining your childhood? It's not ruining your childhood. Do you like Will Smith as a genie? Were you a fan of the original? Would you like to see an adaptation of Return of Jafar? I would. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Click that little bell. Give this video a thumbs up and share it around with all your friends. Until next time, guys, it is what it is. The preceding announcement has been paid for by the Jackass Nation.